Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Thank you so much for being here. And today we have a um, little uh, request by Randy. I'm very excited about this because I do know the musician we're talking about here. Um, I've heard a little bit of him. Um, he basically is a very a well-known guitar player i mean not that well known but pretty much uh known and he had a little um basically a little alan holdsworth i guess inspiration where he kind of like started playing like him sounding like him a little bit i mean it happens to us all we listen to something and we kind of like incorporate that technique into our own technique and so that's basically what happened so that's uh that's why i know him because i obviously when i was into my whole alan holdsworth um you know like search and i wanted to like uh, know other musicians that played like him um he came up so we're talking about um no other than uh bill connors and this is from the this, this is not on Spotify, unfortunately. So we're going to use a YouTube video that Randy provided me with. Thank you so much, Randy. I do appreciate all your uh, videos um, and all your links and, and and everything and the support. So this is from the um, this is called Subtracks. Let's see. Let me just check the link. I have it open right here. Subtracks. And let me see if it says also. Uh, okay, it only says Bill Connor's second Holdsworth. It says Holdsworth style CD. Um, it says everybody loves it here. Fantastic. It's unavoidable to compare. And blah, blah, blah. All that good stuff. But let me see. I just want to see what album this is from. So I guess he did like wanted to channel Holdsworth, which is fine. I mean, everybody has done that, I guess. Uh, who's into guitar? Who plays? Starts playing legato, and you know, diminished scales, whole step scales, half step scales, just galactic sounding scales. Um, let's see here. What is this from? It doesn't say doesn't say on the on the video subtracts see here maybe no that's so weird Double Up. Okay, 1994. I found it finally. I was kind of like, okay. Um, I've heard this, um, the one that Assemble. I've heard that CD. Also very Holtzworth. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I mean, everything that kind of like has that style of music, I love. I love crazy tech technical, um, you know, guitar playing. But obviously more when it's about jazz and, you know, there is this guy. Oh, my God. If I would play this to you, you would not. Well, you know, I'm just going to make a video out of it. It's going to be like a fun thing, kind of like a fun project. Um, like what I did with Al Miola and Pat Metheny. Expect something like that in the future. And it's not going to be Alan Holtzworth, but every one of you is going to think it is him. Um but I'm not going to reveal what musicians I know. I know a musician who literally like sounds like Alan Holtzworth on all fronts. Just it's insane. It's like a copy, uh, like a carbon copy. I, I mean, the amount of like, it's just insane. Um, but well, okay, let's keep our a focus here on Bill. Um, so, um, so like I said, thank you so much for this request, Randy. Is if, if there's anyone out there who would like to do a request for or marathon or a track like this, let me know. You know, we have the buy me a coffee option. 
you can send me an email um, and then I can review a track or listen to a track and react um, and uh, so you can look that up in the um, description below also if you're new to the channel if you're a Holdsworth fan welcome to the channel please like and subscribe we're gonna see a lot of Holdsworth uh, material here but also um, everything else from all um, sorts of music you know um so uh let's get into it bill connor's subtracts 1994 um uh, here we go thank you so much randy for making this happen uh we already did a great um video with greg howe playing protocosmos check that out i i added something extra at the end a little bit of holtzworth playing the same same tune with alan pasqua the man who actually wrote the tune so that was really fun to do all right so let's go with subtracks here we go i hope this is a good quality video sometimes youtube is not quite doesn't have the quality that i usually use with spotify but i mean we just have to use what we have okay here we go guys that's very holds but the distortion is literally the same like he nailed the, the sound uh of that it's like this distortion that has all these d delays on top of each other um and it just gives like this crazy almost not guitar sounding voice you know that holdsworth has it when he when he's like basically uh, when he holds the note, then it sounds the most like Holdsworth. When he's like, of a little bit of vibrato there. Um, so now Holdsworth not a bender at all. He doesn't bend. I've I've seen him bend maybe like I don't know in concert. He really doesn't do it. He uses the like the whammy bar to bend, and then he does really crazy bends, like almost like cries. Like it's beautiful. Um, the playing, of course, I mean, the the sound and the intention is there. But, of course, me as an Alan Holdsworth, like, super fan, I guess I've heard everything. 
um it's the 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 uh the language is just not the same i mean it and also he wants to be original you know i mean bill here is trying his holdsworth thing but he doesn't really want to copy his lick so he has his own voice i like that he's staying uh at least original i mean he is kind of like copying the distortion and and the style the legato playing you know and the stops and all that uh but at least he's playing his own licks and he doesn't just want to copy like everything alan does because that's very i mean you can just hear now this other player that i'm talking about is also using his licks and his everything so that i like that about bill here that he's still staying original and true to his music and his interpre interpretation and also the whole drum beat is a little bit more uh not as loose as holdsworth uh i think holdsworth just said you know just play whatever you want um to his drums and this is more like it sounds almost like a drum machine i could be wrong though but the bass is also um very reminiscent but also again holdsworth lets his bass player do whatever they kind of want he, here are the, this is the chord progression just play just add to the music and this is a little bit more i guess composed but really great i mean you have to give it to him he nailed that sound i've been trying for years to come up with that sound it's impossible um the legato i can kind of like do but i can't replicate that the the sound of the distortion the tone yeah, let's call it the tone, okay? So let's keep going. <laughs> very interesting i really love that um there we go so so yeah i mean it is what it is but i do have to take back what i said about the drums it was definitely not a drum machine i i guess i wasn't wasn't putting uh paying enough attention this drummer is extremely good and also the bass play i loved how he was doing the bass walk Boom, 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 boom. Uh, while he was playing the solo very cool and then just like you know improvising over the chord progression very very fine musicianship here on all three 
parts. I mean, it's. I think it's cool to have a little bit of a, you know, um, you know, change styles and try something different. And I mean, yes, it sucks that that they call him like a copycat. I mean, if you look um, here at the comments, I mean, look, someone um, called it a masterpiece. I saw Connor with RTF when they played um, in the 70s and he stood apart from the pack even then. His fusion influences were obvious, but he is he has uh he was always coming into his own individual style oh no he was coming into his own as individual stylist fantastic uh comparison to holdsworth style are unavoidable but i think connor's tone soling and cordial work are top notch it seems that holdsworth is not the only one that came from another planet there you go great comment um uh let's see can anybody tell me what planet Connors and Holdsworth or Jane uh, or originated from? I like to move there and stay. Great. A soprano saxophone riffs on electric six string. OMG. Bill Connors. Um, uh, there it is. Bass Kim Plainfield drums. Uh, no, Kim Plainfield drums. Uh, I think that's the, the bass is Tom Kennedy. So there's only like 10 comments on here. So that's what I think is so crazy that these master musicians don't get the recognitions they deserve. And that's just a shame. So that's why I love making these videos for lesser known musicians. Even Greg Howe. Even a guy as big as Greg Howe in the world against people like... Well, people think that Joe Bonamassa... Uh, is like the best guitarist in the world and I don't have anything against Joe Bonamassa I think he's a great blues player and I think we're gonna see him live soon but it's like just uh, when I he read an interview about Joe Bonamassa he doesn't really like the style that he plays because it's very limited he said it himself so um, it's very good but it's not what he wants to do for real sometimes musicians and this is basically the hard part uh, as a musician you have to play what people what the masses listen to what people like and the masses don't listen to alan holdsworth or this this is very out there this is very could be very confusing almost maybe for some people it doesn't do anything it's just like weird notes played on the guitar but for a guitar player or somebody who studied music it says a lot and it does mean something so that's basically the uh even guthrie guven has said this like if i could change something i would not have studied this much and i would have taken a different path i would have learned to play uh, a different style of music and so he even said people that wrong come from a rock background or metal don't don't get into this because it's going to ruin your your uh, you know your the gusto you have the the passion because it's mi music that's so complex and difficult to perform like don't destroy your path you know and uh, a lot of people uh, it happens you know you're like a good guitar player you can play almost anything you know rock and blues wise and then you get into jazz and you're like what the hell i don't even know what to do here so it does happen so but well i think this is uh just a great example here of uh, of this player who is completely underrated unfortunately psych like so many other jazz fusion players you know we have brett garset we have richard hallabeek uh, Richie Cotson, he's doing something a little bit different now. He's singing and playing blues, but he can't play all this stuff. But I mean, just guys like Scott Henderson or, uh, you know, I mean, I guess the only couple of guitar players who really do the thing they love and, and they get the love they deserve is like Pat Metheny and Aldi Miola and, and, and Pat Martino and, you know, and, and other players like that. It's just they have found their audience, but... 
this style is still very much underappreciated and it, that's just how it is right now, right? So, um, well, I hope everybody enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like this at all. Is it too much for you? Um, do you like this style? Do you like Alan Holdsworth more? Do you like Bill Connors' style more as maybe out of this Holdsworth phase? Um, let me know, you know, let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you did enjoy the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.